Hey guys, it's Steve here at Hankster's Hot Rods, and what we have to present to you today is this beautiful 1970s Chevrolet Nova. Um, what we're going to do is our walk around, and we'll go over the vehicle, show you the uh, aspects of it here. Starting off with the color you will see here is this champagne gold, and this is the correct color that the vehicle came in. And the paint on this car is beautiful, as you will see when we walk around, it really is very nice. Um, you will also see as we walk around, it does have the Yanko striping on it. This is not a Yanko Nova. Uh, it's clone style here, but it does have all the Yanko striping on the hood and around the body, which you will see, and we'll go over that. Um, up here, starting at the front, you'll see the 383 emblems, which it does indeed have a 383 in it. Uh, GM um, 5.7 block 383. It is a crate engine. Um, coming up to the wheels here, it does see the aluminum polished uh, wheels here, the five star style here with the BF Goodrich uh, white letter radial TAs the whole way around, 215 in the front and 245 and 6015s in the rear. Uh, coming back to the car here, um, you'll see here is our striping as we'll go over, continues the whole way down the side of the body. You got the Nova emblems here and our first gaps here between our driver's door and driver's fender. You will see the gap is very nice and even and the body lines line right up there, top and bottom. Our bright work around our windows, very nice condition. Uh, of course, you got a little bit of scratching here and there, but overall, great shape. Our glass on our windshield and our glass on our driver's side windows, all nice, no chips or cracks in them. And as you will see, they are tinted. Um, our chrome on our mirror here, door handle is also very nice. Another thing that stands out on this car is, of course, the vinyl top. Vinyl top on this car, black vinyl top, and it is in great condition overall. It's just, it's a really, really nice top on this car. Coming back to the uh, gap in here on the driver's door to quarter panel, you'll see nice and even the whole way down. And again, the body line there and the body line here lines up nicely. Um, what we're going to do now is open up the driver's door and let you see inside the interior. Beautiful interior in this car, uh, black vinyl bench seats, black uh, carpeting. The dash is in great condition. The dash pad is in great condition. We've got some autometer white face gauges under the dash there. You will notice it has a B&M floor shifter there. Very nice um, addition to the car there with some great kick panel speakers. Door panels are in a great shape. Our headliner, just a beautiful interior. And of course our door jams are beautiful, no rust or holes in them. You can see the door shuts nicely there. Coming around the back here, um, you will see here, of course, our Yanko striping here, and there's the Yanko SC there, but again, this is a clone, but the striping is there, and, and all the decals are in great shape. Our back window here, as you can see, also tinted, and no chips or cracks in that. Our trunk gapping, whole way around, nice and even, really great condition. Coming around to the back, the bumpers on this car are beautiful. The chrome is really, really great condition on this car. Of course, you see you've got our emblems here and our rear tail panel. Everything is in great condition. Our uh, lenses on our lights are really, really nice shape. Can't be that old. They're really, and they still got the shine to them. No cracks in them. What we're going to do now is open up the trunk and show you inside here. Um, you will see inside here, we do have a couple amplifiers, two Rockford Fosgate uh, amplifiers for the stereo system. Another thing you'll notice, it is surrounded in custom panels, very nicely done, and our battery is mounted in the trunk. So the battery is in the trunk and our two Rockford Fosgate amplifiers. Uh, we do still have the stickers here in the trunk and our trunk underside is body color. See our seal. Our weather stripping seal is in great shape the whole way around, and also the uh, door jam or the jams for the trunk are in great shape. No rust or anything in them either. Moving along here, coming around to the other side, our trunk gap on this side, nice and even. And again, there's our striping that continues the whole way down this side as well. And the decals are in great shape, as I said. The paint, uh, we'll go over that again. You see on the trunk, the shine. The paint is really, really nice on this car. Again, here's our top. No tears in that anywhere that I see. It's in great shape. And our windows on this side, again tinted, no chips or cracks in them either. Coming to our first gap on the passenger side, our passenger door to quarter, 
You see our body lines line right up there, and the gap is nice and even. What we're going to do is open up the passenger side door and let you see the interior from this point of view. See our door jams again, very nice condition. Our seats, great shape. You see that shifter, the carpeting, the dash. Everything is in great shape in here. Just really, really beautiful car. Moving along to the gap on the passenger front fender, the passenger door. See the body line here and down here, and the gap is nice and even. Again, the paint ongoing, really nice shape, and our decals running down, great shape there. And then again, there's our emblems. Coming around to the front of the car. Uh, first off, the dress does have the SS hood. Uh, here's our Yanko D, uh, decals there. Again, you can see the paint on the hood is in great condition. Our bumper, the chrome, really nice shape. You can see our grill here and our bezels, our headlights. No chips or cracks in that. Really nice condition there. What we're going to do now is pop the hood. Let you see under here. You can see, as you see, everything under here is black. Underside the hood is black as well. Um, in this, we have a lot of nice features on this engine here. Again, it's 383 stroke or Chevrolet. Um, Demon four barrel double pumper carburetor uh, sitting on a GM Performance aluminum intake. Uh, GM Performance aluminum heads. Also, this has electric fan. This has aluminum radiator. We've got the chrome alternator there. We have power steering, power brakes. Over here, we also have some nice features. We have a MSD. 6AL ignition box there. Uh, we have the autometer FMU mounted back on the firewall. Um, a lot of nice um, touches on this car here. Very nice package, very strong runner. Again, uh, stress there, it is the 350 turbo transmission with the gear vendors uh, under overdrive unit on it. All together, a very nice powertrain in this. Um, what we're going to do now is we're going to put the car up on the lift and show you that powertrain underneath and go over everything under there. Hey guys, we've got our Nova up in the air. Um, what we're going to do is go through the components under here, um, undercarriage and so on, like we usually do starting at the front. Um, what we have here, front suspension has tubular upper and lower control arms, definitely not stock, however tubular is better. Um, it does have Disc uh, brakes on the front, drum in the back. They are drilled and slotted rotors on the front with Willwood calipers. Uh, we do have 15 inch tires the whole way around. I believe they're 245, 60, 15 in the back and 215, 60, 15 in the front. And they are aluminum polished chrome wheels. Um, again, our cross member here looks nice and solid. I don't see any holes or rust. Uh, anything in there looks really good. Um, all of our fittings. Greasables, boots look to have been taken care of there. We've got our Pro Forge adjustables here for the tie rods on both sides. Um, coming back, we do have dual exhaust on this car. This is long tube headers in the dual uh, piping going the whole way back in the Flowmaster mufflers and up over the axle and we'll address that as we move back. Um, our front frame sections here look really good on both sides. Um, our oil pan of our GM. 57350 here looks really good. I don't see any leaks there whatsoever on the pan or at our rear seal, our transmission pan, which this is a aluminum BNM fin pan, which helps with cooling, of course, with the aluminum and the fins. Um, coming back into our rear seal here, we're going to address this. We have different seals here because this transmission has a gear vendors under overdrive unit on it, which uh, is a very, very uh, nice and pricey piece to have on here. It gives you that ability to have overdrive on your uh, transmission. It has all kinds of performance applications as well. It's a very nice unit to have. Um, on that unit in the rear of our transmission, an output seal at the back of the unit, no leaks there as well, which of course is really what we like to see. Uh, our transmission cross member looks really good. No holes, leaks, anything in there. Um, coming back here, here is our e-brake cables and it is mounted on the location, stock locations going back to the rear of the wheels. Um, one thing we'll notice on here as well, we've got frame connectors connecting the front subframe to the rear frame section of this vehicle, uh, which of course that's nice to have if you're running some power, keeps the 
uh, chassis nice and rigid there so you don't um, twist your uh, body when you're running some power. So these are a nice addition to get more traction in the back as well. Um, our floor sections up here look really good. All of our uh, embossed sections are there with our drains as well. Drive shaft balance. Going back our dual exhaust, of course, as I said, this does go into Flowmaster mufflers. They do go up over the axle and like out to the sides of the uh, leaf springs, out to the sides of body dumped down into chrome tips. Um, our leaf spring mounts. This is leaf spring suspension in the back with stock style shocks. Our mounts, front and back. Do look really good, and so our flooring here in the back looks to be in great shape. Um, we do have some other options. It's a 12 volt rear. Um, coming up here in the back, we have a Summit um, aluminum fin differential cover with the drain, which makes that nice. You don't have to take the rear cover off the drain your fluid. You can just take the plug out here. And of course, that. The aluminum also helps with the cooling of your rear differential, of course, increases your performance. Um, our input seal here and this rear cover for the uh, differential cover, no leaks there as well. Um, so that's nice and dry. Coming back to the gas tank here. Um, gas tank is in great shape, no rust on that. It's very nice condition. And our hangers, front and rear mounting points, look to be in great shape. Uh, this has an electric fuel pump on it. It has a lot of items on here. It's a very, very well optioned vehicle. It's got a Mallory electric fuel pump. And right next to it here, we will see a Mallory comp filter, high performance fuel filter that is in line with the lines back here. It's a tank and these are mounted right above it. So of course, electric fuel pump, more performance. Um, there's a lot of nice items on this car. Um, and we'll go over to here. Below our leaf springs, you will also see traction bars. Both sides, of course, as I said, at working in conjunction with your frame connectors, that's going to help you with your traction, um, and that's what you want. Coming to the back here, our exhaust, as I said, it does come out right here. We've got chrome tips that are dumping in underneath on either side of the leaf springs. Um, overall, very nice condition under here, a lot of nice options. Um, what we're going to do now is lower it down and start it so you can hear that engine run.